I don't have any one thing that I've been doing all my life or anything. I feel like definitely have interests come and go. The, the only constant that's been in my life is probably music. Hi, I'm Pratik Kohad. Uh, you're watching me on Asian Pains, where the heart is, and welcome to my home. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to my home. This is uh, where I spend a lot of my time. Uh, my studio is at my home as well, and I do all my writing here. You know, I've tried and filled it up with art and with colors and, uh, you know, just tables and sofas and stuff that feel comfortable, that feel like space that is conducive to writing and being just kind of being myself and being comfortable. I like to keep my space uh, more functional versus more aesthetic. I, I mean, I like pretty things and obviously, you know, you want to like have something that's visually pleasing and stuff around you, but it's more from a place of what makes me feel really good and the colors that make me feel good and that comes second after like kind of functionality. When I moved in here this house was completely empty and it kind of stayed like that for about a good year because I guess I just didn't care in the beginning and then slowly over the years it's got filled up with things so like this couch like I really wanted like a L-shaped thing because I like lying down a lot so just like little things like all my cushions will always be like cotton because if you have cushions they have to like feel super comfortable otherwise it's kind of pointless right uh, other than the fact that they look nice so a lot of it actually starts from there like I have a table over there because uh, I really like sitting over there because it overlooks like the window outside which is a lot of like light and like trees and just you know it feels green and nice Art is like, uh, does not have uh, a lot of function in that sense, at least uh, tangibly or physically. But it's it's like, it definitely makes a house feel very, it makes it feel inviting. Like you would feel like sitting somewhere, otherwise it can look a bit bare and like depressing sometimes. Like if you have completely bare walls in a place, it can look really odd and you put a few paintings and suddenly transform the whole place. My mom actually uh, runs an art gallery and is an avid art collector. She's a painter herself. So I just grew up with a lot of art around my, uh, myself. Like it's just, it, it was just there because my mom put it all over her, our walls in Jaipur. So I think it just comes from that maybe. Maybe that's just like how I'm used to being, like having a lot of paintings on the wall. So wherever I go, usually I'll just like, even if it's just like photographs or like prints or whatever, like I like to have like the walls really filled up. And you'll see that like in this place, like every wall is filled with, you know, a bunch of paintings. So yeah, usually my day starts around here. I'll get myself a cup of coffee from my kitchen. This is one of the places at least that I'll start. The light is nice here in the morning. I like being on a table. I'll usually just um, read something or catch up on news, but just kind of like the first half an hour, 45 minutes, I'm just having coffee, just spending time with myself, reading, doing whatever I want before I get on with everything else. Alright okay guys, the uh, next part is like super exciting and super important for, you know, what I do. So yeah, this uh, guys is my studio. This is a piano I just got. Uh, I keep my guitars here. I have a drum kit here. I, I, I don't spend like all my day here, but I will spend like a good chunk of my day over here. A lot of what I do is requires just simple writing. So that's the kind of stuff I'll do in my living room or in my bedroom also. But when it comes down to laying down tracks, like uh, making a finished demo, uh, just like sending vocal tracks across to somebody else who's maybe producing for me. A lot of times I'll do calls here also because it's quiet and it's nice. As a process, things are always very fluid. It's, it's not a fixed time in terms of when I'm writing or producing songs. So having the studio at home gives me a lot, lot of flexibility. Plus for me, my place of work is not really a stressful place. It's actually a very calming and nice place. I really like sitting in the studio even otherwise. A lot of times if I'm doing other stuff also, I'd be hanging out here. 
my work is such a big and integral part of my life to me it's just always part of where i live it's not really like a separate like work home thing for me in that sense inspiration can really strike anywhere it can happen any time and i like to be prepared for it uh, i've collected a bunch of guitars over the years so i just put them around everywhere and i've realized that's something i really like i have like pens lying across everywhere on every table you you know you might get an idea and you want to write or you just just writing and then if you get up and like go get a pen sometimes you come back and you've lost that thought this studio is like treated obviously for acoustic dampening inside but also it's like isolated really well uh these are like double glass windows there's two doors over there so all that like just blocks out all noise from inside it's super quiet and there's so much noise all the time that we get immune to it but when you actually come into a space like this you realize how you know quiet things can be homes are definitely a lot more work i mean it's it's a tangible thing literally takes years to make a home sometimes and i mean it took me like 5 years to build this home right where you live also shows in a way the kind of person you are because obviously you end up putting your energy in there and like i think it does give an indication in certain ways out of everywhere i've lived i feel like this place feels like the most my house uh, than anywhere else i've put time and effort into like you know making it my own don't forget to like share and subscribe you're watching me on asian pains where the heart is and welcome to my home